Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back out here at the ranch today. Got Jerry and Calvin out here with me. We're doing our end of the year annual squirrel hunt. We do it every year after deer season, just before squirrel season goes out completely, which it's about to. Brought Jerry out here. He wanted to come join in. Calvin's going to be his cameraman for today. I'm stuck with the tripod, but that's all. Hey, y'all, check this out. I went to Walmart the other day. Bought me a brand new air rifle I've been wanting. I got it at Walmart because it was the cheapest. But this is a Gammo. <laughs> it is the Swarm Whisper. They bet you're doing some laughing. <laughs> I'm trying to do some filming. The Swarm Whisper 22 caliber. Inertia fed. It's got a 10 round clip. You load up, you put here. Every time you break this barrel down to, to recock it, load it, whatever, it loads itself, self feeding. You get 10 shots. Keep you on point with these squirrels. Jerry's over here shooting this 410. Ain't nothing like shooting a 410, but how much did you pay for that box of shells? I'd take a loan out for a box of shells. <laughs> $42? $42, $46 for one box of shells. Good Lord. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the air rifle yeah. for today. We're about to get out here and see if we can get on some squirrels. Y'all coming along, y'all. Let's go. Oh yeah, I got one, baby. Unfortunately, I don't think I got it on camera. Let me tell you something. That old 22 cal gamo, one shot, son, straight down. You hear me? Hey, let's Yeah, you got him one. Show me the squirrel. The first one. Looking for a bunch more. Mm-hmm. Number two, baby. The old Gammo putting in work today. I seen that joker from a ways off. Come running over here. He was just up there trying to feed a little bit. That's a nice male squirrel right there. But that's a one-shot deal. All right, guys. Jerry found one. Gonna go get him. Jay, Jay. Over here. Hey, look. I can barely see his tail. Oh, yeah, he's right in that fork. You want me to get him? It's on my own. Throw the hammer back. It's been a while. <laughs> Right here. I don't know if you'd be able to see his head. Yeah, you see him. You know where he's at. Got him. <laughs> Big old fat one. Number two good fat one. I knew I hit him. I could I could just see from here to here on them. Mm -hmm. Good job.
Oh, and I see, I see three. All right. That's him. He moved. You see him? Yeah. There he goes. Oh. Well, I seen him one. One, There's one. another one down. Yeah. Dang it, man. Unfortunately, that one got away. So it's tough when you're trying to video by yourself and chase these squirrels down, too. It just don't always work out. Still ain't found Calvin or Jerry. Look at that. There they come right there. Man, y'all been all over the place. Yeah, we were. I wanted to check the whole place out. I want to know how many squirrels y'all got all together. Uh, four. four. Four? Yep, four. Four all together. We had 80%. Yeah. Six shots, four squirrels. Not bad. Yeah, forty dollars, forty-two dollars <laughs> for a box of bullets. So yeah, I got uh, that hurts a little bit, don't it? Yeah, but I'll have them shells for a long time. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> well, obviously they did a little better than I am, but hey, I hey, they a had a man and a guy. I was about to say he got a cameraman. <laughs> I don't have no cameraman. I just got me, so but I still wound up with two. All right, guys. I'd say we did a number on the squirrels out here today. <laughs> that right there, that's a pile of groceries. You hear me? That's what you call a table full of groceries, huh, Jerry? Some good eating. That's some fine eating right there. But we're about ready to get set up. We're going to go ahead and have us a little cleaning party. And we'll take a look at some of the meat here when we're done. Got them squirrels all cleaned up, y'all. I want y'all to look how pretty that is right there. That's just some beautiful, beautiful meat. Wind up keeping in, I don't know, five or six. We had a big cookout out at the ranch out there, fried up a bunch of them. I didn't show none of that. I want to show you my favorite way to cook these squirrels. One of my favorite ways. It's actually a recipe from a friend of mine, Mr. Don. Mr. Don, I appreciate this recipe. You know how much we love it. I'm about to share it with y'all. With all. all you need is a crock pot. That easy. So what I'm going to do is I like to cut the rib cages out of these squirrels because they got a lot of little fine bones all in them rib cages. That crock pot's gonna break that meat down, be good and tender. You don't wanna be sifting through all those little bones. So we're just gonna cut them rib cages out of each and every one of these squirrels. All right, just like that, we got them squirrels cleaned up, y'all. Basically just separating the front legs, cut the rib cage out, leaving the hind ends intact. Some of that backbone. Season them up, whatever seasoning you like, put them in your crock pot. One 12 ounce beer, you're gonna use three quarters of this 12 ounce beer, pour in there over them, put the lid on that crock pot, set it on high for the first two hours. Then you're gonna cut it on low for the next three to four hours. So you're gonna have five to six hours of total cooking time for this first step. After that five to six hours, you're gonna go in with your favorite barbecue sauce. This happens to be Sweet Baby Ray's that I like. One cup, you're gonna measure out one cup of that barbecue sauce. You're gonna use the other quarter of that beer that you had left if you didn't drink it. If not, get you another one. Use about a quarter of it. Stir in with that barbecue sauce in a bowl. Pour it back over them squirrels. Woo, I'm getting hungry thinking about it. Put the lid back on that crock pot, y'all. We're gonna let it go for another two hours on low. And then we're gonna be ready to eat. See what we got going on in here. That crock pot, son, look at that. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Woo, looking real good. Woo, here we go, y'all. Check this out. We got that old drunken squirrel from the crock pot. Got that cornbread right there, that jalapeno cheddar cornbread, red beans and rice, smoked corn. I just pulled that out of my smoker, y'all. I went ahead, I made a fresh batch of cornbread, jalapeno cheddar cornbread, made it from scratch, threw it in the oven, cast iron skillet. Oh my God, you know you gotta have that cornbread. But the, but the main star of the, of the show is that right there, y'all. Check this out fall right apart i mean like nut like butter all apart look at that 
Woo, about dropped it too, son. That's that old drunken squirrel. That's beer and barbecue sauce in the crock pot. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, that is a must-try dish if you've never had it before. I promise you, you will fall in love with it. And you can do it with anything, chicken, pork, but whatever you make with it, that's why it's going to be called drunken, whatever you make with it. God, them squirrels are so good. Mmm. Right off the bone, look at that. Holy cow. I almost hate the squirrel season is over with. Because I'd love to have me a pile more of them. But then you got that barbecue sauce with that beer in there. But that's what that cornbread is for. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, good. I might have overdid it here, guys. I ain't gonna lie. This might be one of the best dishes I've ever made on this show. Hands down. And I'm about to sit here and finish enjoying this. So I appreciate each and every one of you for tagging along with us. We had an awesome time out there doing that squirrel hunt. Jerry and Calvin was over there getting on them. Hey, I still got my two, so that's cool. Be sure to check this recipe out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Hit that like button right there for me, guys. It helps the channel out a whole, whole lot on these videos when you do. So please hit that like button for me. Till next time, guys. Y'all take care. And we'll see you.